Hey guys, in this video, let's discuss timer trigger and run history in logic apps. So guys, timer trigger, as you can guess, it is used to schedule tasks. Now in this video, we will create a timer trigger and that timer trigger, it will call a free public API every five minutes. And this is that free public API and it returns dog breaks. Then we will check run history and guys this is really a cool feature. And finally let's say our workflow has failed. So from run history we will understand how we can find the actions or steps which failed. And for this we will intentionally call non-existing API. So guys we are in Azure and let's create new logic app. Let's select consumption plan. Let's select resource group. Let's give name to our logic app. So I will say logic app timer trigger and here let's say review plus create and create. Let's open our logic app resource. Let's go to logic app designer. So guys our trigger it will be timer trigger so let's click on it and here let's say recurrence that is schedule so let's select this recurrence trigger and here i will say execute it every five minutes and now our action will be calling http api so let's click on this and let's say add an action here I will say HTTP and guys let's select this action that is HTTP here we need to provide the URI right so let's paste our free public API and the method is get and that's it and let's collapse now is let's do one more thing Let's say this action that is calling HTTP API is completed. Let's simply add a blob in our storage account. And in that blob, we will simply add the contents as HTTP API has been called successfully. Okay. So it's, so again, simple straightforward action. So let's say add, add an action. I'll say blob. Let's select create blob. So guys first we will need to create a connection for this block so connection I have already created but when you add this action it will first ask you to create connection which is simple straightforward process. Now let's assume we have created connection for block so let's select the block. So in this so in this storage account I have a container that is my container and now we have to provide the blob name and blob content so blob name I will say API call success and the contents I will say API called successfully so let's collapse and let's say so guys this logic app it will run every five minutes and now let's click on this run history so basically here we can see the history of our logic app executions and you see it shows successful that means immediately when we created this logic app for the first time it got executed so let's cross check in our blob storage account so here i will say refresh yes we can see the blob that is api call success so again guys you can guess this logic app it will run every five minutes right now let's do one thing we want to fail this logic app so let's try to call non-existing api so let's click on this HTTP and maybe in this URL I will say 1234 that's it and let's say save so guys now we need to wait for 5 minutes so let's wait okay guys now our logic app must have been executed again so let's click on this run history and yes can you see it shows failed so basically I just wanted you to show that 
in run history we can see all the previous executions and if a logic app has failed we can simply open that particular execution and then we can go to a particular action which failed so let's open it and let's go down and can you see it? so it shows the exact details because of which that action failed and here you can see under outputs under body we can see error and error it says no root found for this gate method okay so that's why guys this run history is really important to find if any of our executions has failed and then we can go to the run history to find more details that's it guys thanks thanks for listening